all of your um, pieces nudged to close any gaps. We're going to add the finishing touches to your design to give it like an aged retro look. So you're gonna open the grungy photocopy textures and the dust and scratch textures, but first you have to unzip them um, because when you downloaded them, they are zipped files, which are files that are compressed. So it allows for folders with more contents that are larger file sizes to be downloaded. So it just takes them big files and makes them a little bit smaller so it's quicker to download. So to do that, go into your folder that you have named in your documents <clears throat> double click the zipped file for dust and scratches and then double click the photocopy textures zip file once those are unzipped and you can see the blue folder you can actually chuck out the zipped files because you don't need those anymore uh, just so they're not confusing so you can either drag them to the desktop or do command delete once you've clicked on the file as a keyboard shortcut and then there's those two files Okay, so once they're unzipped, go back to Photoshop. And you're going to <clears throat> open one of the grungy photocopy textures um, in Adobe Photoshop. So you can do File, Open, go to the photocopy textures first. And then in here, there's a whole bunch of different copy texture, or excuse me, photocopy textures. Find one that you like. I'm gonna use this one. And then click open. It's gonna open in a new tab. Then you're going to select this layer. So let's unlock it by clicking the padlock in your layers palette. We're gonna do a copy. Command C. We're going to go back over to your geometric landscape and do paste. Command V. We're going to change our blending mode in that layer to screen. So change it from normal to screen. You'll see that now it's kind of um, transparent. going to render the background transparent and then you can resize so I'm going to spin mine so it's horizontal you can resize it so it fills the whole page okay cool so just make sure your blending mode is set to screen now we're going to add a new curves adjustment layer to the top of the layer stack. So we're going to click the window drop down menu and we're going to find adjustments. The adjustments palette is going to open. <clears throat> and from here we can find curves and we're going to tweak the curves to add, add more red in the shadows, but less in the highlights. So I'm just going to play with this until I get a tonal range that I like. I'm going to do right there. So in order to tweak the curves, you just click on this little diagonal line and hold your mouse click down and drag it until you get a tonal range that you like. Um, the final result is an abstract piece of art with portions of the image cut out and uh, recomposed into a collage effect. The geometric lines keep everything balanced while the additional texturing and color adjustments finishes off the image of the retro style appearance. Okay, so now you have an option to also add some grain to it. So we're going to open the other folder so not the photocopy textures, but the dust and scratches textures. Um, you're gonna open the JPEG options and preview those and you'll see like little scratches and dust and stuff. Um, I'm gonna choose this one and you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to <clears throat> find your layers palette, unlock the layer, copy, go back to your geometric landscape layer, paste again change your um, blending mode to screen 
and then resize it so it fits your whole artboard. And that's just gonna add a little texture to your document. Once that is done, Command S to save, and then you can export as the Photoshop file and the PNG, um, which I will go through in another video.